إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا ونبينا محمدا عبد الله ورسوله Brothers and sisters in Islam السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته This is the last episode of the story of Hajj We talked about the story of Ibrahim and his family A family that spread Tawheed across the world and that work was to continue in their offspring they actually made dua as Ismail and Ibrahim alayhi salam completed raising the foundation of the Kaaba and calling people to come to Hajj they said Rabbana وَبْعَثْ فِيهِمْ رَسُولًا مِّنْهُمْ Our Lord send to them a messenger from amongst them. يَتْلُوْ عَلَيْهِمْ آيَاتِكْ To recite to them your ayat, your verses. وَيُعَلِّمُهُمُ الْكِتَابَ وَالْحِكْمَةِ And to teach them the book and the knowledge. وَيُزَكِّيهِمْ And to purify them. إِنَّكَ أَنْتَ الْعَزِيزُ الْحَكِيمُ See, brothers and sisters in Islam, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam tells you, أَنَا دَعْوَةُ إِبْرَاهِيمُ I am the supplication of Ibrahim, وَنُبُوءَةِ عِيسَى and the prophecy of Isa alayhi salam. Here you are. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam from the offspring of Ibrahim from the line of Ismail. Alayhi salam for all of mankind, calling everybody to the way, to the deen, to the religion of Ibrahim alayhi salam. He said, Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala documented this in the Quran. Say, O Muhammad, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guided me to a straight path. قُلْ إِنَّنِي هَدَانِي رَبِّي إِلَىٰ صِرَاطٍ مُسْتَقِيمٍ دِينًا قِيَمًا مِلَّةَ إِبْرَاهِيمَ حَنِيفًا وَمَا كَانَ مِنَ الْمُشْرِكِينَ The way of Ibrahim عليه السلام I'm on the way of Ibrahim عليه السلام I call upon the people of the book If you love Ibrahim عليه السلام Muhammad is in the same way of Ibrahim that is why he calls upon you in the final revelation. Ya ahl al-kitab, O people of the book, قَدْ جَاءَكُمْ رَسُولُنَا Our messenger came to you. يُبَيِّنُ لَكُمْ كَثِيرًا مِمَّا كُنْتُمْ تُخْفُونَ مِنَ الْكِتَابِ وَيَعْفُوا عَنْ كَثِيرٍ Explaining to you a lot of the things that you conceal from your book and he is also admitting some of it. Some of it is correct. قَدْ جَاءَكُمْ مِنَ اللَّهِ نُورٍ A light came to you from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَكِتَابٌ مُبِينٌ And a, a clear book, the Qur'an. Follow it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also calls upon the people of the book in a language of warning that in the day of judgment, they don't have an excuse anymore. يَا أَهْلَ الْكِتَابِ قَدْ جَاءَكُمْ رسولنا يبين لكم على فترة من الرسل O people of the book Our messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam came to you explaining to you after a pause after Prophet Isa alayhi salam أن تقولوا So that in the day of resurrection you would say ما جاءنا 
من نذير من بشير ولا نذير نو بيرر اوف جلاد تايدنج نو راورنر كيم تو اس فقد جاءكم بشير ونذير انديد محمد صلى الله عليه واله وسلم brought you the glad tiding that if you follow the final mandate that came to you from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which goes in line with what Musa brought to you with what Isa brought to you Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is no difference to them but you are at fault now that you are not following the final mandate that came from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to you Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala calls upon you in the Quran. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam calls upon you in his sunnah to become Muslims. And by doing so, you will be following the way of the man, of the character that you appreciate so much, that you actually try to attribute yourselves to. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala debated this with you when he told you that how can you claim Ibrahim alayhi salam when the Torah and the gospel were revealed after him. My brothers and sisters in Islam, this is your turn. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has sent to you Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam also. You may be born Muslims, but you may not have gotten your share of the knowledge of the guidance that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam brought to you. And this is the problem of the majority of the Muslims. Here is the supplication, the invoke of Ibrahim alayhi salam for you and for me and for everybody. O oh Allah, send from amongst them a messenger who will recite to them the verses of Allah and teach them the wisdom and will purify them. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, brothers and sisters in Islam, brought for you the guidance that can teach you who you are, that can teach you what is your mission in this world, that can teach you where are you going to go from here, and what is the result of your work here in this world. If you want to be like Ibrahim alayhi salam and his family. Four things that you have to do. Learn the book, the knowledge, the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam. Implement it. Call people to it and be patient. If you do this, brothers and sisters in Islam, then you are written as a Rabbani a person who really preaches what they practice, or what he practices, or what she practices. Brothers and sisters in Islam, we mention the story of Hajj. We mention the story of Ibrahim. Hopefully, to motivate us to be another Ibrahim, alayhi salam. Of course, there will be no prophets, no messengers after Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. But the guidance that motivated and moved Ibrahim to work for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala still there. And it's perfect, completed. In the farewell, hajj, the only hajj that the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam performed after the Arabs have distorted the rituals that were passed on to them by Ibrahim and Ismail. The Prophet ﷺ went and performed Hajj, and again he brought the rituals to the way that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala meant it to be or wanted it to be, and also cleansed the house of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala from the idols that were placed around it. The Prophet ﷺ delivered for you the guidance. And he said in his farewell speech, al today I have completed the deen for you. And I have chosen submission, Islam, to be a religion for you. 
he also said, I have left for you. What if you hold fast to, you will never go astray. The book of Allah and my sunnah. What are you waiting for? The ummah needs you. You can be another Ibrahim. You, yes, brothers and sisters in Islam, you. Don't look around you. All you have to do, learn the deen, learn the Quran, learn the sunnah, understand it, implement it, implement it. Call people to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to it. But can you call them the way that Ibrahim alayhi salam called his people and his father? The way that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam called his people? Differentiate between the jihad of the sword and the jihad of the word. The jihad of the word, reasoning, good counseling must be used. The jihad of the sword is different in the battlefield. Brothers and sisters in Islam, and rest assured that if you learn, implement, and call people to it, you will not have it easy. You will be tested. Like Ibrahim alayhi salam was tested. Therefore, patience is required. But if you do those four things, learn the Quran and the Sunnah, implement what you learned, call people to it, and be patient in spite of being tested, but rest assured that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will always deliver you like he delivered Ibrahim from the fire, like he delivered Ibrahim from his people, from his father, like he delivered him in Egypt from the oppressor, in the land of the oppressor, like he delivered him once he placed his wife and Ismail in the desert, like he delivered him once he was commanded to slay his son, and when he held him to finally build a house for Allah in earth. He delivered him in earth. He will honor him in the day of resurrection. وَإِنَّهُ فِي الْآخِرَةِ لَمِنَ الصَّالِحِينَ And right now as we speak, he is leaning against the walls of the house of Allah that is in the heavens. Brothers and sisters in Islam, this is the story of Hajj. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. لبيك اللهم لبيك لبيك لا شريك لك لبيك لبيك اللهم لبيك لبيك لا شريك لك لبيك إن الحمد والنعمة لك والملك لا شريك لك لبيك اللهم لبيك لبيك لا شريك لك لبيك إن الحمد 